Hi, this is Karen at Snickerdoodle Designs. Today we're going to take a look at how to load Photoshop styles. We're going to talk about Photoshop and Photoshop elements. I know many of you have asked about layer styles and how to use them, so the first thing we're going to look at is how to load them, and over the next few weeks we'll look at different ways to use them. So let's go ahead and get started. ASL, um, I'm sorry, Photoshop styles come in ASL format. Many times on the um, a package of styles that you might go to purchase, you'll see this FXS styles icon. Not always, so if you don't see that and you know you're looking for a style, look at the designer's product description and it should say Photoshop style in there somewhere. So what are Photoshop layer styles anyway? Adobe describes them as a layer style is one or more effects applied to a layer or layer group. You can apply any of the preset styles provided by Photoshop or create a custom style using the layer style dialog box. And as I said, we're going to be looking at that later over the next few weeks. Today we're going to just look at how to actually install them. And there are several ways to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. One of the most simple ways is just to navigate to where you find your styles and simply open it. So let's go ahead and navigate to that. Let's go to Open, File, Open. I put this on my desktop for easy reference. I happen to know it is in this first product or file, and here it is, SD Watercolor. It's an ASL file, and then all you have to do is select it and click Open. And now those styles will be at the bottom of your Layers panel. They are right here. There's another way to do it that's easy. You can do this particular method in both Photoshop and Photoshop Elements, the one I just described. The next one is available only in Photoshop. Go to Start, Computer, and again I have these on my desktop, but you will navigate to where you have ever have that uh, folder. Come over to Color Outside the Lines Watercup Sty Watercolor Styles, click on it find the ASL file, click on that, and then just drag it over and this will copy. And if you see, if you saw that um, pop up right there, you'll see that they are co uh, layered, copied right here. So now I have actually three copies in here. Again, that method is available in Photoshop and not in Photoshop Elements but the next two methods are available in Photoshop Elements as well as Photoshop. So in the top menu bar we're going to go to Edit, Presets, and Preset Manager. Click on the Preset Type and navigate to Styles. And you can see right here at the bottom I already have these three but we're going to go ahead and load it again, so click Load, navigate to where it is. Again, it's on my desktop. It's right here, the ASL file. Click on it and click Load, and it has loaded again. Click Done, and you saw them pop up here. Now let's go to the next method and that is by loading them in the Styles panel itself. So I have my Styles panel open right here. If you don't see this, just click on Window and Styles. Click on that and it will open for you. Come over here to the um, horizontal lines. Come down to Load. Again, navigate to where your style is. Here it is right here load and you see that it's loaded again. Now obviously I don't want that loaded all those times so let me show you very quickly how to remove styles. Edit, Presets, Preset Manager, Styles. And I'll only leave this one set in here, right here. Click on the first one, click on the left, hold down the control uh, shift key, click on the last one and then click delete and done. 
and now you see there's only one set there. That doesn't delete the style from your computer, it only deletes them from your styles palette right here. Um, another way is to use uh, what I call a PSD style strip, and I include this in all of my styles. Not all designers do, uh, but let me show you how to use it and then how to create one if you want one and don't have one. So let's go ahead and go back to our desktop. And all that a style strip is, is it is a PSD file, a little template that I created and it has every single style included on here. So this is watercolor one right here and you see it corresponds with the one down here. So how would you use this? Well in the tutorial I have included a template you know instead of not navigating to that I think I'm just going to go ahead and clear this. I'm going to select them all and clear the layer styles. This is the template that is included in this tutorial and what you want to do, I believe I have this uh, listed as like product one or something like that. Product one. And they're all then number two, three, four, five, and so on. So if you want to create your own style, you will go ahead and load the style as we've done. And click on the first rectangle, square, and click on the first layer style and that will put that layer style here and then just go ahead and complete your template until you have it all done. I just do this very quickly. I think I might have skipped one there. Maybe not. Oops. Okay, so pretend I've uh, named these all and here is my styles template. I will just save that as a PSD. I'm just going to save it on my desktop and I will say um, SD watercolor uh, for tutorial just so that I know exactly which one I can't talk and type at the same time just so I know which one I'm uh, going to be using here. Okay so now let's go ahead and close that say you have created your style now and you want to use it you just go ahead and open it open a new file let's just put a shape on here okay so now you are creating a layout you don't want to actually load the styles so you've just opened this PSD file and you can just have it residing on your desktop and just decide which watercolor style you want to apply. Let's say you want to apply that very last one and you'll come down to the last layer style here. Right click to copy it. Come back to your document and right click and paste. And now you have your style on your embellishment or text, whatever you're working on and you can just go ahead and close your PSD document and you haven't had to actually load the styles. This is most helpful for uh, Photoshop Elements users in uh, versions prior to 11 I believe. Photoshop Elements versions prior to 11 required you to actually install the Photoshop layer and that was pretty complicated. You had to actually go into the Adobe files and the presets and it could get a little complicated based on the version you had and the type of Windows or Mac files or Mac um, operating system that you were using as well. So being able to use the style is very helpful if you don't want to either load or unstyle the files. So I, this has given you new, quite a few options. I hope that one of them works for you and you settle on a favorite and we'll see you next week when we talk about how to use the styles that you have now loaded. Thanks for stopping by and we'll see you then.